Hello, this is Daniel and welcome to part 15 of the character modeling tutorial. So today we'll give her finally her clothes and actually I can give you a preview of what we're going to do this time. So it's going to look about like this with a bit more detail. So be because I before I made this video, I did a few tests to see how I'll manage it. So this is what we're going to do today. So let's get back to the file where we are currently at. So that's how it should look. And let's start with the clothing. So I will reset the cursor to the center uh, with Shift C and add a new object. Any object is fine. Just go to edit mode. Um, well, let's apply at this point a um, mirror modifier and delete all the vertices in there. Now make sure that you activate um, the magnet tool and select to snap it on face. Uh, so now when you use Control and a normal uh, left click. You should be able to create uh, Let's turn off proportional editing by the way You should be able to create a vertex right on the surface where we clicked. So now we can go to the front view and Start playing this. Let's also activate this and this so that we can use the mirror modifier better so it will now clip to together and be visible on the other side. So basically we want to reach this goal. So let's move it to here subdivide this and adjust those vertices to be even. Next thing we want to do is to go all the way along here. Um, not going to look at the reference at this point because it's not accurate enough. So I'll just go through uh, here underneath the arm and I will connect it back here again. Now, like this, we have now our upper edge of this piece of cloth. Now, here's the end of our first part of the piece of cloth. So, I am going to um, select. Or actually, we don't need to. I'll just I'll just add a new uh, word text here. Just make sure nothing is selected, or you will extrude it to there. And then close them here. That way, you won't get any problems. And now it's again the same deal. Just connect them at the back. Maybe from the side view you can get some information about where they should approximately be. But most of it you can do just by um, guessing. In the end it should look about like this. Now you want to make sure that both of these loops have the same amount of vertices. This one has 10. This one is 13, so we definitely need more down here. Um, so let's see, where do we want to add more? Let's just start by connecting some of these. And while we do that, we want to make sure that these upper ones really connect to where they're supposed to connect to. Um, at this point, I'm really not going to worry much about topology. I'll just do the most simple topology for this part possible. So it's simply just two loops connected with each other. Um, now we should have about 12 word, uh, vertices down here and 13 up there. Because I added two already. Let's continue closing this part with F again and F again. Now, yeah, let's start from back here this time to see how it will close. But you see, we still have not enough vertices. So one was missing. I just added it in there with subdivide and now I can finally close this. Now with that, we have now, let's move it with M to the second layer so we can view it separately. We have now this piece of cloth, the very, very basic shape. I'll set it to smooth at this point and make the subdivision, uh, add the subdivision service modifier to display it smooth. To fix these issues, just go to edit mode, select everything, and with control and recalculate the normals. Now we want to give this piece of cloth more volume and shape it to fit uh, her body. So I'm going to add two loop cuts here and I'm going to start editing those. This time I'll work with uh, the proportional editing tools um, and we'll select the connected one. Let's actually select these two loops and hide them for now so we uh, won't have to worry about uh, editing them in any way. 
So now we can simply take this and start. Well, of course, disable the snapping tool. And then let's start editing it. So at first, I will adjust this part here. Then I will move on to over here. And then this part here. And of course, over here as well. So this is really not nothing you have to do very carefully. It's just a very rough burden at this point. So that means this here is actually already enough. So to unhide now those hidden polygons, go to edit mode and use Alt H to unhide it. So you see this is our basic shape. Now we want to edit it and improve it to look better. I will start by adding more detail in there and smoothing it with the exception of this one up there to make it go together and run to a sharp end. Also I will um, now move these with double G uh, towards this end to make it more sharp as well. And since we're going to get quite a few creases here, let's start to um, let's start the first few of those creases. We'll model them in detail when uh, later when we have more polygons in the model. Once we added more detail, but for now let's just uh, try to approach the shape as good as we can with just the poles we have. So, for example, fix these kind of issues where um, the model is already inside of the body that will look bad of course and you can work with proportional editing again just you just need to know what the result should look like then it's all right to do whatever you'd like to do okay let's continue now to add loop cuts along this direction to give it to give us ourselves more freedom with creases and such later on here and over here I will do something very similar and start to add some creases here like this now generally let's try to smooth the entire thing again something I always like to do um, with the exception of this one of course again because I don't want to lose that sharp place. Uh, actually let's drop smoothing this back part because that is already um, we don't want to mess it up. And then I guess we are already at a point after of course adjusting it a little bit let's add another level of detail even though you know it doesn't quite fit. So I'm going to select the, the entire thing and use Alt we to subdivide it and let's set this to smooth one just so it looks a bit better and connect these with the clipping thing all right now this is where the real work starts we'll now uh, start to model the creases by hand so here for example i'll add some creases you can look at the reference if you're not sure about where to add crease and where not to so while drawing it, I tried as good as I could to um, get this in a drawing so you can see it. But this is about how you have to do it. So let's switch back to the first and the second layer for the cloth and continue our work. So for example, let's say we want to add a crease here. Let's select a few of these poly um, a few of these vertices and move them a bit down at the same time let's move one right next to it a bit more up to kind of make it look like it's but just at the very end to make it look like there is less space for the fabric to uh, get together so it has to bend to actually fit into this small space and that is for example one of our creases now we want to do that as natural as possible, as good as we can, um, until we have these kind of creases on the entire model. Those don't have to be that intense either. For example, over here I will just add a very subtle 
um, trees and try to yeah make it just fit into what we have already I still think this one is a bit um, too intense so I will smooth this uh, part in the middle out and to make sure nothing is overlapping again or intersecting let's use proportional editing again so that's basically how you go about that now especially important is this part over here because the creases here are probably the most obvious ones that we'll see in this model and it looks probably about like this now it would be better if we had more polygons but um, this is just the amount we need to um, yeah make people recognize it as creases and it should be alright it's not too bad and the lower the lower the poly uh, the, the vertex amount is the better uh, the control you have should be as well so you'll probably have it easier yeah so I'm, as you see I'm smoothing again quite a bit a really nice feature as I always say um, and now let's continue towards the shoulder and back and arm bits and such and of course I'll definitely use smooth again to fix these kind of issues and now let's add more detail as much as we can as much as we want that's uh, what one of the things that will make our model look good not detail alone but um, well thought of details and as you see uh, just this little change we did here can actually change a lot in how the image looks and of course at the end there will be the seam uh, as well on top and of, on the button but we still don't have that so we have to work with just uh, the knowledge of having such a thing there later on Now at this point let's try out to uh, select the entire upper loop and scale it down a little bit until it goes into the entire body and every place on, on it. So let's see, as you can see here it works well as well as here and here and here and here and everything should be fine. Actually, I would like to try out something di different as well. Now, let's say I'm, I'm going to add a solid fill modifier and let's compare the results. So, we have basically the choice now with the solid fill modifier between this here, this kind of edge you see here, or this kind of edge you see here. I actually pretty much like this one. So, I'm going to go to edit mode and actually remove this loop again. Um, the only thing we need to fix is probably up here because you can see there are obviously some problems with the normals because they're in a very close area. Let's just take the entire thing and try to smooth it. Maybe this will solve all our problems as always, but uh, it doesn't, so let's do some manual editing as well. And there we have it. A nice part of a cloth. Um, let's just go ahead and add a few more details before uh, stopping this recording. Uh, 
and there you go so there's still a lot of detail to add but I think this part of uh, tutorial is enough for today we'll maybe um, improve her her amount of detail and make it ready for various other projects and so on and so on but for now this will be um, all we'll learn in, in uh, this video so I hope you enjoyed it as always and I will see you hopefully next